<laughs> okay, we're here at the Alonzo's Oyster Bar and they're supposed to have the best oysters in Key West, so we're gonna try those out. Alonzo's Oyster Bar is located right at the A&B Marina in downtown Key West. This is a really historic restaurant because it's the oldest restaurant in Key West. They've been serving up seafood and sea views since 1947. Some things that made me really want to try this place is that it's known for the best oysters in Key West and best happy hour too. Alonzo's has indoor seating and a beautiful three-side wraparound outdoor dining deck. Since it's located right at the marina, it's a great spot to dock and dine, even if you aren't staying in Key West, but just boating around the area for the day. You can just park your boat and come for dinner or lunch um, whenever you would like. We sat outside and I kind of suggest it because it's really nice to just sit right by the water and enjoy the view while you have dinner. I heard you have the best oysters in town. Have you heard that? Yes, ma'am. I've experienced the best. We only have cold water oysters, the best oysters in the world. Japan, Prince Edward Island, wow. uh, the West Coast, the East Coast, the cold, frigid water makes the best, cleanest oysters. And what, what is the most popular style? Is it that platter that has uh, variety? Or? I like the oyster combo. That's probably the most popular with the, the locals. It's cooked, it's broiled, uh, it's two spinach like Rockefeller, two key lime. Key Westy and in two buffalo like a buffalo chicken wing. I've also heard it's like a really good happy hour. Tell me. Uh, Number one happy hour in town. Yeah. Lots of booze, beer, food. Um, locals favorite happy hour in Key West That's for many, I, many years. Uh, I sent thousands of people here before I ever worked here. Wow. And, and that says. How long have you lived here? 21 years. Wow. Long time. Oh man, that's delicious. Oh. Our local pilaron. It's gonna be hard to make this at home, but it's delicious. And that's why you have to have it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the key lime. I've already tasted it. It is so good, but I'm just gonna taste it again. This is graham cracker around the edge. So good. It tastes just like a key lime pie. So good. So I saw a lot of reviews on TripAdvisor about their seafood towers and I really wanted to try it. I even saw on our airline magazine that seafood towers are pretty trendy right now. So um, it was one thing I definitely wanted to get. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the seafood towers. There's three different sizes Absolutely. and what, how much does each size be? Because we're trying to decide which one to get and he keeps saying, no, that shipwreck is going to be enough. We probably don't even need anything else. Oh, and no. So he's correct. My husband is correct. Yeah. Yes. The shipwreck tower will do the job. He's correct. He seems like a wonderful <laughs> gentleman. Yes, the, sea, the shipwreck tower should do a fine job for your family of four. Okay. Um, if you need anything additionally from that, we have lots of great sides okay. too to kind of spice it up. Cool. Everything from onion rings this to is island so rice. Good. This um Key lime. What's your favorite other specialty drink besides the key lime? As far as our, our, our cocktails go, the ones that we're best known for, yes. that we get a lot of bling, is yes. this blue bad boy right here. Oh, really? See, this thing is bright and colorful. Oh, yeah. Is that the Tipsy Mermaid? Yes, I and it's I and, and I think you should because it's it's quite delectable, okay. and uh, we get a lot of requests. It's not just the uh, aesthetics; yeah. it's um it's the taste too. It's got a good combination there. Key lime garlic and two buffalo with the blue cheese. All right, thank you. Oh, that's sweet. It's delicious, calamari is delicious. It's cocktail sauce and regular sauce. You know sauce, sauce free. She said sauce free, babe. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Amelia? This is You like calamari usually. Yeah. There you go. Careful. Good job. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. You're not good with hot things. That's a 12 year old, by the way. Can I eat the shell? No. 
know, but you can like eat the crumbs off of it, because I do. What do you think, John? What are you on? What one are you eating? Buffalo. Wow. It takes a little bit, and then it hits you. It tastes just like a buffalo chicken wing. How much, how hot's the heat? Low, medium Low below. for you, so medium to high for me. Yep. Okay. But they are. So this is the key lime one. I'm gonna eat this whole thing though. Spicy. That one's spicy, Amelia. Okay, so this is the Rockefeller, which is literally my favorite type of baked oyster. Because I love spinach all the time. Absolutely love it. It has a little bit of spice to it. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't put it on your face with them. I know. I know my document. Hey, you! Are you subscribed yet? <laughs> if you're not, you should get subscribed. Your drink's here. <laughs> Whoa. Amelia's. Do you know what that's called, Amelia? Yeah, it's called the Tipsy Mermaid. <laughs> Let me try that. What is that one? Do you remember? Paradise something? The last one is pretty freaking good. <laughs> what was this called again? Southernmost Sunset. Southernmost Southern Southern Sunset. Sunset. It's based on a rum, banana, and peach liquor. That's what it is, banana. Wow. Then we got your king crab here and your container. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's giving lots brother. That looks really good. Look at all the flowers on it. Every. You can go ahead and take some. Yeah, Dad, me and you had the same idea. I was gonna go for that one, but I'll take the first one. Take your lemon. Take the lemon. Can I take this out? On? Have it's you ever had a raw oyster? I think you did in Destin. You did in Destin. Wait, how do I do this? Amelia, I don't know if you're gonna like a raw oyster. Let's plan. see what you think, Ethan. <laughs> no, seriously, do you like it? Because I don't know if you've ever had one. You do like it? Wow. Even this is vinegar? I just swallowed it whole. Yeah, that's how you do it. You don't chew. And this is uh, cocktail sauce with horseradish. Super spicy. The vinegar is super tangy. What are you having, shrimp, Amelia? I'm having shrimp. Oh, this is what they meant by the cold. It's the best. So no, like the. Before. It's kind of weird swallowing it. This is salted dog with the potatoes and pickle back. It comes with the chips. Wow. Uh, let's go through the towers. It comes with the uh, blue point oysters, which is nice and juicy. They freshly shot. You can feel this juice and. I did. Um, and they are very sweet and smooth. They are. The flavor. Yeah. Um, comes with the clams. It's raw clams. Um, cocktail sauce, horseradish. Yep. We also have uh, smoked fish dip with our local mahi mahi. Is that that right there? This one fish oh, dip. Oh, this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you put that with crackers or? Yes, we have some crackers on the side. Okay. We have. Tuna. So that's a dip. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. We have a beautiful tuna poop, which yes. is absolutely oh, incredible. Yeah. Fresh tuna in the. Um, seaweed salad. Seaweed salad, smoked calamari. 
Oh, that's what that Very is. Very interesting. I have a lot of questions all the time about the smoked calamari. You have to try it. It's okay. absolutely incredible. It has soy on it. That's why I'm usually asking about the allergies. And it comes um, with um, our Florida pink shrimps. Look at this beauty. And the On the top, we have the top, top shell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two Florida tails. Wow. And we have our beautiful mussels. Mussels are chilled with That's some great. water. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you pointing at There's a QS. It looks spicy. I didn't know if I wanted that one. Wait, was that the Bloody Mary? That's the Bloody Mary. It's the Bloody Mary. Yeah. If you like a spicy Bloody Mary, that has a spot. That's a no joke shot right there. Salty dog? Salty. sweet. Okay, so these are the oyster shots, but I am a sipper and it is really good sipped. I already had some of it. This is the pickle. It's so good. So much alcohol, and then followed by an oyster. I don't know if I can do this thing because I'm just not that great at it. Should I try it? Good luck. Uh, I might have to take another sip before I can do the oyster. Okay, this is slow. It's inevitable. <laughs> it's a certain skill. It's actually really good. I am not the raw oyster person. You are John and Ethan, apparently. But that is good. I can do it like that. That is really good. Oh, I'm dead. He's an expert now. That's what you want. That kind of shade. Sometimes you don't need the cracker. Ethan. What do you think? I highly recommend this one. This is the best crab ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you love crab even back home in Missouri, right Ethan? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Wow. Put a little butter on that too. Yeah, I will. Help. Yeah, I'll help you. That's okay. Can you give it to me? That yeah, is yeah, yeah, good yeah. stuff. So never point it. What'd you say? So these are the most perfectly cooked crab legs ever. Shells crack perfectly. The meat comes out perfectly. Solid pieces. Okay, in Missouri, it never cleans out like this. The crab, the shell always fragments. It's never this good. You have to come to Key West to get seafood this good. And then I liked this, uh, what is this? Horse and cocktail sauce. Yeah, I like that a lot. Here, okay. Okay. Wait, cheers. Cheers. That's really good. It's all two lemon seeds. I got the high ups too. Yeah, we demolish that. Except your lobster that's saved for you, John. You need to eat it. You have to try it. Is that butter right there? Yes, there's a lot of butter. Try that. I have some butter here. Okay. I want to see your reaction. Yeah, you had some, didn't you, Amelia? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Do you think we'll be a brightest thing so we get crazy at night? Um, we'll see. I don't know how it'll be. It'll be our first time on Mallory Street. Or Mallory Square.
I save that for you? Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to ask, what was your favorite thing out of crab. all the crab? crab? You are a crab person, even over the lobster. Crab. Over crab. the lobster? Crab. Have, what was your favorite thing, John? Probably the oysters and clams. Really? Yep. My favorite thing key lime martini that was out of this world. The Tipsy Mermaid is great, um, but I think I even like the key lime martini better. Favorite food, the oyster, baked oyster combo. That was great. I love baked oysters anyways, and the lobster. I liked this um, smoked fish dip, so good. Salad, so good. Oh, and the calamari. That calamari had this sauce on it that it, it was the right amount of like acid. I don't know if it was lemon, what it was, but it was a creamy deliciousness. Like everything was amazing, but those are my favorites. Ready? First bite, key lime pie. In house, babe. The espresso is really good. Thank you for joining us today at Alonzo's Oyster Bar in Key West. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and a comment. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, bye. Wow. That one's huge over there. Yeah. There's like a big one, right? Yeah. I wonder what that is. He doesn't have a thing like a shark. Huh. I'm pretty sure it's a tarpon. Oh, probably. And that's a fish shark or a shark. I have like a really big minnow, and then the sharks are nurse sharks. What the sharks are what? Nurse sharks. They're nurse sharks. Oh.